so here it is guys the first open beta Oxygen OS for OnePlus 5 is here which is based on Android version 8.0 Oreo so in this video I will walk you through what are the features that I have included in this update first of all I'm going to settings menu showing about phone you can find I'm running on the Oxygen OS open beta 1 for the OnePlus 5 which is running on Android version 8.0.0 Oreo with Android security patch level of 1st October 2017 so I will walk you through all the regular stuffs like we have this shelf in the OnePlus launcher and then if you press and hold go to settings menu you can find that OnePlus launcher version is 2.2.0 with uh, this shelf you can turn it on or off or say swipe down so if you swipe down you will be able to get the notification area and then we have different icon packs and then home screen layouts where you can increase the number of columns as well as the icon size so these are the settings you will get this oneplus launcher next if you check the uh, basic settings like the calls messages and the camera camera app is different now so this is the new interface which comes with this audio update if so I, here you'll get the video photo portrait and for everything you'll be able to see this beautification settings here you can increase and decrease it and then if you swipe up you will be able to see all these camera modes like video, portrait, slow motion, pro mode, even time lapse and panorama. If you swipe up here you will get all the settings like stored data location, shutter sound, grid, rear camera beauty mode, short on oneplus, watermark, flip photo vertically, save normal photo in case you are taking with the portrait mode. And you can see this is the version of the camera that is 2.5.4. So these are the settings that is comes with this open beta 1 and then as usual we have a swipe up to open the app drawer next if you pull down the notification area you'll be able to see this nice little animation where the all the notifications are organized nicely and then if you click here you'll be able to customize these icons you can add more icons to the toggle area if you go to settings menu you will be able to find all these regular settings like alert slider you can customize buttons and then in status bar you if you want to show the battery icon percentage you can do that status bar customizations are here phone customization default launcher if you have many launchers display in display you'll be able to find this night mode reading mode and then theme accent color where you can change the color accent and then font size display size and this also comes with the ambient display and then lift up display so if you keep your phone somewhere and then take your phone like this then you'll be able to see this glimpse of uh, notification that's called lift up display and here notification you will be having different options and apps we have different options as well and uh, we don't have this um, face unlock feature with this instead we have this trusted face I hope uh, it will be available in the next build we'll wait and see and we have all this quick pay app locker and other features that was there in the previous build and here on top you will be able to see all these uh, details in in a glance like Google Play Protect as well as security update in advance we'll be able to see these options like OTG storage if you want to turn it on you can do it and then game in do not disturb and we have this Bluetooth audio codec as well like aptX HD aptX and S SDC so all these options are well received in, by the users and in screen calibration will be able to see srgb dcip3 adapt humor and then even custom color so these are the settings comes with this update let's go and uh, check out the what's new change log so first of all as we mentioned it's android 8.0 and it adds the apparel apps i'll show you the parallel apps if you go to settings menu apps in parallel apps there will be listing all the application which supports the parallel apps especially like Facebook, Instagram, Messenger and WhatsApp where you can use different WhatsApp number in a same phone so if I'm turning on the WhatsApp and if I'm going to check the app menu I'll be able to find two WhatsApp this is the first one primary one and this this with the small parallel app I can this is the second app where I can open and then configure the second number so it's pretty handy next one is the picture in picture I will show you a sample of picture in picture so uh, here I will go ahead and uh, 
play some videos. I will mute this video so that uh, it won't block my sound. So I will play this in full screen. And when I press the menu button, so it will be going down below. You can see and I can do multiple things at the same time while watching this. If you tap here, I'll be able to skip, pause, play, things like that I can do. And if I want to close it, I can drag down to dismiss it. Or if I tap here, I'll be able to come back to the screen. So that is called the picture in picture. This is not currently available with the YouTube free account. You need to have a YouTube red, red account to have this function. Next, we have this added autofill option where you can find it. Go to settings menu, language and input. You have this option called autofill with Google. Click here and then you will be able to optimize all these settings like per personal information, addresses, credit card information, saved password, all these things you can save. And then you can use it while filling some other forms in a website or any other applications. So that's called the autofill. Then we have this added smart text selection. Smart text selection means if you are typing something, for example, this looks like a number, phone number. So if you are selecting and then it will be showing the phone app because it, that looks like a phone number. If I'm removing some part and then if it's just a phone number, so it, it is not a phone number. So it won't give any application to open. For, let's go ahead and try Blanco. It's a place name. So I'll be getting this maps option. And then it will be directly going to the Bangalore. If I'm typing some email ID, then I'll be getting this Gmail ID. So it will jump through the Gmail directly. So this is like uh, the system knows what you're typing. So it's a pretty cool thing. And then we have this quick settings design that we have already discussed. And then updated security patch to October that you can see in the settings menu about phone and road security patch level. And then talking about the launcher features that have been added, we have this added notification dots. So whenever any new notification came for any of the apps, we will be able to see a small dot on top of the apps. And the new folder design, so this is a new folder design where you will be able to change uh, rename by tapping the folder name. And if you tap anywhere outside the empty area, you will be able to close it or you can also close it by drop down last now able to upload photos directly to the shot on oneplus so if you press and hold you have this wallpaper option shot on oneplus option here if you have logged into the oneplus you will be able to upload your photos to the shot on oneplus gallery so uh, that is all about the features comes with this first build of oxygen os open beta for oneplus 5 this says that we if you open the gallery app you can find the new gallery app it looks like the oneplus 5t's gallery app where you'll be able to see these collections as well as the places where your photos have been taken which is good and then next uh, talking about the benchmarking score this is the benchmarking score that we got for this update and it's compared to the previous uh, auction os build this is very loss because this is the first build so Let's hope that uh, in the future update they'll be improving this this score. And then this is the gig benchmarking score. So that's it, guys. So if you want to know how to install this Oxygen OS Open Beta on your OnePlus 5, I will provide a link in the description from there. You can go ahead and check it out. And let me know what you think about this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more.